Macy's is closing another 100 stores next year as it faces slowing sales and fierce online competition. The country's largest department store group said in a statement, quote, we'll be able to reinvest in a more energized shopping experience in our remaining stores and elevate our total customer experience. People are going, huh? The locations have not <laughs> been disclosed, but Macy's reveals its plan to sell its famous men's store in San Francisco's Union Square. Macy's shares rose 17% after Thursday's announcement, but its stock has tumbled 42% in the past year. Aaron Task is Fortune's digital editor and joins us at the table to discuss. Hey, Aaron, good, good morning. to see you. So here's Terry Lundgren, the CEO, who's considered a legend in the retail business. He's had to make some really difficult decisions, but still people say Macy's ain't what it used to be. What has happened to the stores? Right. Well, the short answer of what's happened to Macy's is Amazon.com mm -hmm. has happened to Macy's. But the stores themselves, it's not the same experience that we all think of. When we think of Macy's as we were kids, it was a place to go to. It was somewhat glamorous. It was a place you'd wanted to go. And now it's kind of a scrum. Like you go in there, like if I'm trying to buy a men's shirt like this, there's 17 different places I can look as I walk into the men's department where they have shirts. And I don't know which one I want to go to. And then the merchandise is all packed together. It's just not a pleasant experience for the consumer. Yeah, I've heard people say it's not visually pleasing the way it used to be, which matters to people. It does matter to people, especially when you can get it cheaper online, yeah. right? This is the thing. So they're, they're competing not just with online retailers like Amazon, but you have Kohl's out there and TJ Maxx where if I'm thinking about price, that's where I'm going to go. When I go to Macy's, I don't necessarily think about price. But if they don't have the right price, I'm not going to buy it there. It's, it's, we just, you guys, it's that segment in the vault of death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Macy's is facing, you know, a very <laughs> similar challenge, right? They got pressure from all sides. But isn't it, it's more than just Macy's? Because you mentioned Amazon and that online component. How do these department stores get people back into the actual store? Well, that, that goes to the quote that you put up there about the consumer experience. And I, you know, what Terry Lundgren and, and Jeff Jeanette, who's his successor, are saying is that they're going to take some of the money they're going to be saving from closing these stores. And the stores that they're keeping, they're going to reinvest in them and make it a better customer experience. And that may include everything from better getting the merchandising better to doing new things that they don't have at Macy's right now. Uh, Urban Outfitters, the retailer, a couple years ago they brought a pizzeria, right? And you think that doesn't make any sense. But if, you know, if I'm a young kid and I want to go for a slice of pizza and I go to Urban Outfitters to get it, then maybe I buy a shirt. I mean, this oh. is the things that retailers have to think about these days. How do we get people in the stores? And it's got to be more than just about the merchandise. Yeah. Because here's, I mean, there is something to be said for, for going into the store and actually trying something on, right? And experiencing the, 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 the tactile, you know what I mean? I mean, yes, it, I know you and you I, and I, we talked. Yeah, the, I, mean, the, I have that something too, online, yeah. you know, if it's going to fit or whatever else. So th there, there is a, an opportunity here, one would think. There is an opportunity for a certain generation. Now, millennials, they're digital natives, right? They grew up shopping online. That's all they know. So to get them in the store, you got to give them something more than just, oh, you can touch and feel the merchandise. That's, that appeals to me. Like, I, I'm not an off-the-rack kind of guy, so I want to put it on and make sure it fits right before I buy it because it's a hassle to send it back if I buy it online. The kids, that's not how they shop. So you have to give them a, another reason to come to the store. But back to Dana's point, though, about Amazon. Recently, they just announced, we had it here on the show, that they're taking over Jet. They're going to lease cargo planes yep. to get the merchandise out. How in the world do you compete? And the word is that they will eventually overtake Macy's if they haven't already. Yeah, they're, How do you they're a gargantuan force in retail right now. Everyone from Walmart to Macy's to Dollar Store has to deal with Amazon. And the cargo jet is just another way of Jeff Bezos saying, got, I'm going to shop anywhere. Got to cut you off. Yeah. We're out of time. I'm sorry, Aaron. Thank you. <laughs>